My name is Michael Bachman. I'm the chief engineer for Artisan Electronic Instruments. And I've been working kind of behind the scenes for the last three years to bring forth the Otava basic um, oscill synthesizer here. It is an analog front end sound source. So you've got analog oscillators, a dual, uh, four hole cascade filter, and a VCA, and then digital control over that. So you've got patch storage as well. So I, you can do instantaneous patch recall. It records all of your knobs up front. You have four envelope generators with delay and hold and four LFOs that have rate modulation. And you can do MIDI clock sync as well. So you can set your systems up to be looping, MIDI clock sync, and everything you do is very fast and fluid, but it also will tell you what's going on over in the main OLED over here. Um, one of the neat things about this guy is I wanted to make a performance synthesizer that was pretty compact and sat on the desk easy. So this will store 60 patches, but you can assign any one of those 60 patches to these 10 knobs down below. So you can bring them up really fast. You just pop it into place. And, uh, you know, it should be. Hey, there we go. And that's really nice out in the performance. And that last patch you heard, that uses the sub-oscillations of both oscillators. So each oscillator has its own sub. So when you're all together, you're, you can mix four of those sounds, have pulse width modulation, and you can be one or two octaves down. So you can build a thick sound. And you can take those four pulse width modulation and four square waves and combine them together in this thing called a um, logic exclusive or. Some people, it's kind of like the ARP ring modulator on steroids because it'll take four inputs and you can, and that gives you about 21 variations of how those four inputs can be mashed together and you can get some really thick sound. So this guy is the starting point and it is the kickoff point because it has a voice module on the back that is completely digitally controlled with a two-wire connection. So if I stacked six of these on top of each other, connected that two wires together, I now have a six voice polyphonic synthesizer using the same desktop. I can, this desktop can be 30, 40 feet away, it doesn't matter. Flip this baby upside down and open her up. And so you got a voice card here, which is six by nine. You can see the soft clippers going in and out. The digital section is reading everything over a high speed CAN bus. It's running 10 times the speed of MIDI. Then you've got an analog filter, you've got an analog VCA with resonance VCA. You've got two analog oscillators here, and then you've got the digital dividers to produce the sub-octaves and the filters to produce the, the smooth sub-octaves as well. The board behind that is the control board, and so one of the things that this leads me to be able to do in the future is to be able to customize pretty quickly because the voice card can be stackable and the control card is separate. So if I want to make, and I am, I'm working on a five voice, five octave polyphonic, which will have a 32 inch wide cover. And so it has 35 knobs and effects section, it has 25 switches, it has a bigger uh, OLED display, but it still talks the same way to the voice card. So there's, it's very easy to mix and match, like, or in this guy here, you can see, you know, the control card's completely separate in this skinny little, you know, sliding top section. And it's because it only needs those couple of wires to talk. So the next thing I did is I took that idea of patchability and system patchability, and I'm moving it over into a Euro rack system. And so the idea here is that each module will record up to 250 of its own patches all of the knobs, all of the inputs, the modulations, all of that is going to be recorded. And then on the main control module, the MIDI interface, and you'll be able to buy more of these, there's a series of five buttons and they're like radio buttons. If you press one, it'll say patch change one. And what that does is it 
remembers that patch change one is this guy going to patch 25, this guy going to patch 10, maybe the oscillator going to patch 15, BCA patch five, whatever. And it sends over the same high speed bus a command to recall the patch. So now your entire system, which can be up to 127 modules, will instantly go back to that setup. Each module is still individually controllable. You grab the knob, it immediately goes and starts, you can play with that knob, and then you can save that new setting to a new patch. If you want to, press and hold a button like a radio, and it will record the system setup. So you'll, it takes the 127 different modules, asks it, what is your setup right now? And some says 5, 10, 84, 63, remembers that. I stab five again, it goes back and sends those commands back out. So I can have a huge real rack system that will instantly go back to whatever setting I had it. And to be able to integrate other people's modules, there'll be two other modules that are coming out. One will be kind of like a CV module, and the other one will be like a, a cross connect, a matrix kind of module. So you can integrate other people's modules and integrate actual wiring patching into that as well. So these will come out around Christmas time. And then with about two or three months between modules, so about this time next year, I'll be bringing a, a full-fledged, you know, patchable, system-connectable, Eurorack system. These are built to order, about four to six week lead time, depending on where I am. You know, I build them in batches, about five each. They're about, these run $700. You can tell me if you love the white with the green LEDs, which is one of my favorite. The other standard is the brown with the yellow LEDs, black face and white face. So you can choose between those standards. If you want blue LEDs or yellow LEDs on white or whatever, I can do that for you. And you know, if the white guy, you want it painted a different color, I can do that for you. And I can, you know, this is our standard stain, but we can use any other kind of stains you want. So that was, that's the quick and easy. If you really, really love this thing and you want something in a unique way, I'll be working towards doing something like this. This was a custom build, and so it has like a, a sliding top cover. So that was a custom design that goes from a desktop to a slide open. And it's using the same stuff, you know, and that's, that's why this all works, because it's all modular like that. Um, but it was a complete custom. It had red LEDs. It uses a totally different kind of LCD. It's a completely different packaging on there, but the engine's the same. And so we'll be, as we expand and we build some more features, different kind of voice cards, we'll have more options available to people. This is $700, and I don't care what color you want it to be in, what color LEDs, it's still gonna be $700. It might affect the time a little bit, but not gonna, price is not gonna change. This one here, this one was 900 to have that special build. The case itself had to be custom designed and took about, took about three times as long to put together as one of these guys, as you could tell just by the mechanics of it all.